Hi, I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Jervis, and I need to cut a backing for a painting that I'm going to frame. And it is really important that when you do that, you get your archival foam core. And I've done that through one of the art supply stores. So I've marked off where I want this, and you'll notice that I've got an edge here over my sink so that the blade will go through. It's really important to have a very sharp blade to do this, and I'm using an X-Acto knife. So let's get started. For the cutting of it, I like to have it where I'm going to do the cut hanging over my sink actually because the blade can go down in there and it's not going to hurt any, anything cut into the countertop or anything else. And I usually use a steel right angle. Put that on there on the edge. I'm going to cut, just make a short cut here for you. The blade going down, I tend to extend it out at least to two of the uh, lines on the steel blade. And the flat section here will go at right angles to the piece of foam core. So just a short cut, I'm going to push it down. And there you are, I pulled the blade back in. And if you have a really large piece and you're buying it at an art supply store, they will actually cut it for you. Most people know how to use an X-Acto knife. You can push the blade out a long way, but if you want to lock it, it comes back a wee bit and locks. I'm using a right angle square here, go along my line, and I like to go right through the foam core immediately so that I get a clean line. Depends on your pressure whether you get through it right away. And I should turn it over to do from the other side. Making sure that I have an opening underneath here. My square again. And using your X-Acto knife, as soon as you're done, you should pull the blade back in so that you don't cut anything. And there's my 18 by 18. It looks like I messed up a wee bit. So that's going to have to go on the inside. One of the things that I noticed when you are cutting, if you see the blade, there's a, a flat edge along here, and if you put that edge on top of the piece you're cutting, you're going to get a fairly clean cut. If you try to angle it different ways, it doesn't work as well. So you want to put this right so that it's resting square on the foam core that you're cutting. We're going to make sure we're putting the flat edge of this on top of the uh, cutting surface and it's resting so you're actually pushing down rather than pull, spending all your energy push it, pulling across. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.